Hey guys, Ashley here. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you my December TBR because it's Christmas time. Christmas time. Christmas time. Woo. As you can see, I'm wearing my Santa hat, although I don't know if you can really tell the Santa hat because it is so freaking huge on me, but we're gonna go with it. I got my Christmas sweater on. Let's go. I don't know why I'm doing a TBR because honestly, I never really follow my TBRs. I kind of just read whatever I want, but this month I'm gonna try to stick to it because I really wanna get these books done before the end of the year. So let's just get to the TBR and what I wanna read this month. All right, so the first book I'm hoping to pick up this month is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. If you don't know, Marissa Meyer is the same author of the Luna Chronicles and Heartless. So this is her new series. I believe it's gonna be four books, but yes, Renegades. I know it's about like superheroes and villains. I think they're called the Anarchists and the Renegades. Secret identities, extraordinary powers. She wants vengeance, he wants justice. If that doesn't sound great, why not? But yeah, Marissa Meyer is one of my go-to autobi authors, so I'm sure I'll love Renegades. It's pretty big for a first book in a series, so I'm looking forward to it, and hopefully I can get to Renegades. And yes, this is the art copy. I don't have the finished copy because poor AF. Yeah. So the second book I'm hoping to get to this month is going to be the Captive Prince series by C.S. Picat. Picot. I'm going to only try to read the first one. I know there's two others, I believe. But yeah, this one is about two princes. Obviously, one of them gets captive by the other hence Captive Prince. This one actually, despite it looking like a fantasy, is bought from the romance section. So, gonna get some romances between these two princes. I'm excited, I haven't read anything like this before. But yeah, this one, I am just all about. I know Sarah J Mass raves about this book, so duh, I'm gonna read the book the queen suggests. But besides her, I know a lot of people love this series. It's addictive, I'm like really, I want a romance. I want a Christmas romance, and why not have a fantasy Christmas romance? The next one I'm hoping to pick up is actually part of a series and if I like it I might pick up the other ones who knows I don't have it physically with me because I just have the e-copy right now I may order it who knows it is the Foxhole Court by Nora Sakovic Scott Sakovic Sakovic but yeah Foxhole Court is part of the All for the Game trilogy and I, it's about a boy named Neil Jostin Jostin Neil Jostin man these names are gonna kill me he joins a state university's XC team and I believe XE is sort of like lacrosse, maybe? Like something like that? I'm not really sure, guys. I have no idea what this book is about. This is a horrible T-bar. I can't even tell you what these freaking books are about. But yeah, this is another one that is highly raved about. Like really highly raved about. And I know it's actually available on iBooks for free. So you can get this for free and the other two are only 99 cents. So if you want to read along with me, please join. But yeah, so many people rave about the Foxhole Court. I've just, I've looked at the fan art and it's like the fan art alone makes me want to like, uh, like just, I just want to read it. And I feel like it's sort of like, <laughs> it's sort of like when you watch sports anime and you're like, I don't like sports anime, ew. But then you watch it and you're like, damn, this is good. So I feel like this is sort of similar. So sports fiction in YA, maybe I'm wrong. I, again, no idea. I just have had tons of friends recommend this and I am there for that. I know it has like a really great cast of characters. I'm gonna insert some fan art here because look at this. Doesn't this not look interesting to you? I wanna be a part of this fandom. I will give this a try. I'm hoping to love it. Again, it's free on iBooks if you wanna join me. Why not? It's free, read a free book, you know? The next one I'm hoping to pick up, I've actually already read and it is The Black Prism by Brent Weeks. So the story about this one, I think I actually read it about a year ago today. I super, super love this one. This is a adult fantasy series and it is excellent. It is still ongoing as part of the Lightbringer series. So basically the people in this world have the uh, ability to conjure up powers through spectrums of light. So your different colors of, um, according to the, what light spectrum you can reach and that is how your powers are given to you. This one is great. It has great political intrigue. The world is so well developed. Characters are A++. Yes! Lightbringer series. I read it, loved it, gave it five stars. It's on my favorites of all time fantasy series now, but 
yeah, never continued reading the rest. I own them over there on my bookshelf, but just never continued. So this year, and it's been so long that I kind of forgot what happens in here. So I'm gonna reread this baby, hopefully. No, definitely, I'm definitely gonna reread this because I really need to get with this and catch up to the series because I think the fourth one is out already and I'm still on number one. But I'm gonna read this, hopefully catch up and read the others. But Lightbringer series, I really recommend if you love some good old half fantasy powers. Yes, Lightbringer series, woo! And the last one, I told my I would read a Stephen King book this year and I have yet to do so you know I hauled it a while ago but that is just so big and I watched the movies two times I need to wait a while before I try to read the book so I have the movie it's not as fresh in my mind so I'm gonna pick up Pet Cemetery by Stephen King and this one I actually picked up from my work it came in we sell used books there too so this one came up and it was sort of raggedy but I put this plastic over it so it looks nice and this is the original cover this is really hard to find in good condition and honestly it's kind of poopy right here but overall pretty good and that's the best I'm gonna get so pet cemetery if you don't know what pet cemetery is iconic it's basically about a cemetery and if you bury pets in it they come back to life so I believe the main character getting this idea I believe someone close to him dies so he gets a great idea to like hey let me bury them in the cemetery even though that's probably not allowed and you know obviously that person comes back to life and of course things go wrong not as great as it seems pet cemetery yes spelled with s on purpose so yeah I'm really excited to read pet cemetery I have never read a Stephen King book before even though I love horror I'm super excited all right guys that is the end of my December TBR sorry not a lot of Christmas reads I'm not a big Christmas reader I don't really know which books I could read that are like Christmas themed but those are my books I hope to read this month ah, have you read any of these books honestly please tell me like I Fox Core, I'm not sure about I'm hoping good things, hopefully, hopefully, ah. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Also, before you go, if you did not know, I am a rep for BookBo. They are awesome book sleeve company. If you don't know what BookBo's are, they are book sleeves. You can put your books in them. They are amazing, look at that. So then when you go and travel, there's a little button that you can put it on there. Boom, your book is safe. Your book is safe. Hey, they come in all different shapes and sizes. This is the indie size, so you can fit those smaller books, but they also come in extra larges. I love them. They're great. They're great. And I believe she's shipping me some soon. I cannot wait to unbox those. Ah! But yeah, I am a BookBo rep, so if you use my code AshleyOutPage, you will receive 15% off of any BookBo item. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Whoa. Oops. All right, guys, this has been my December TBR. I hope you enjoyed. Give it a like, comment down below. What are you reading this month? Hmm? What are you reading this month? Have you read any of these? What do you think? What do you think? All right, guys, my name is Ashley. This is Ashley L. Page, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you. I don't want enough for Christmas. There is just one thing I need, and I don't care.